7,215 pounds. We've got the Jayco 29RKS J Flight half ton rear kitchen couples camper here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is one of those models that just really has not changed very much in the past 10 years, which is remarkable given the constant change in flux and ebb and flow of this business. It's kind of like a crocodile, guys. Once they found the thing that worked, they just didn't have to change it because it gives you excellent living space, private sleeping, great bathroom, and an impressive amount of storage in the kitchen and cabinet capacity. Now, pardon the shipping plastic and everything on here. This RV, actually at the time of this segment, is actually still hooked up to the uh, delivery driver's truck. I just hopped in here real quick to the slide closed to give you a look at it. Now, I love rear kitchens. I personally prefer a rear kitchen over a rear living room for destination use, but this is part of the reason why. They're a little less travel friendly because you have so much storage and your refrigerator back there behind the slide, it can be a little bit difficult to get to in transit. But when this thing opens up, when you get there, it's just, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. And it's worth it because this one has really kind of the, the feeling of opposing super slides with only one slide out, which means that this weighs less, it costs less. There's a whole bunch of benefits that go along with that. That giant window on the left side of the screen right now, that's a big part of that puzzle. One of the other main factors though is the three inch taller, six foot nine interior height of a J Flight travel trailer, which is one of my personal favorite aspects of them because it means I can stand in the shower as a person who's 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 and not have to have my head in that darn bubble. It's just more comfortable. Now, that also means it's just more open, spacious, and airy and more comfortable through the entirety of the RV, has a taller slide out, and taller cabinets above everything. So you have more storage as a result. Three inches makes one heck of a difference. Now, all of the windows will open for airflow. The super slide windows here, I do have those uh, near blackout night shades drawn to help keep the sunlight from drowning out the camera. So you could get a look at this beautiful sterling decor here. Now do keep in mind, that's the one that we're looking at in this video, that sterling gray. Um, we're also looking at the optional freestanding table and chairs upgrade. Those things could be different. The one that we have in stock might not be a hard, hard match for this, guys. Just keep little stuff like that in mind. Now, things that will always be present, how about the fact that Jayco actually does insulate their super slide floor? In this class and category, I don't know of anybody else that does that. Actually, you can get up through most of the laminated travel trailer or fifth wheel world and you won't find standard insulated slide floors. Jayco also uses a different kind of slide floor material and it throws some people off because Jayco's all about plywood, 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 like uh, 5 8 plywood tongue groove floor, uh, 3 8 plywood roofing. But they have a structure wood slide floor. It's for good reason though. It's a specially built thing called P-Max flooring. It's built specifically for RV slide floors. It's heavier, it's more expensive, and it's also stronger than plywood flooring will be so that this, uh, the slide floor doesn't feel like you're buckling and moonwalking anything. I think my battery box is getting low because the light should be brighter in here than they are currently, but I think we still get the general idea. Now, um, the, uh, the argument between rear kitchen and rear living room, that's just kind of one of those age-old questions right there. But where it really begins is just the fact that rear kitchens have more counter space and more storage space than a rear living room could ever typically hope to offer. Looks like my theory about a weak battery box was correct. So we got a little more light in here now, which is gonna be handy as we start to peer into these cabinets. Now, on the left here, where all the overhead cabinetry kind of begins, is actually sort of a hidden master control panel. So if you do have uh, some littles or you have some friends over with some littles, their little fingers can't get to those little buttons and burn up your water heater like I did to my grandfather's camper. Now, all of our cabinets, uh, cabinetry here, it do, they do have hardwood cabinet doors with pocket screwed um, styles. So this is built to hold together. It's not stapled together uh, beaver puke particle board type cabinetry. Now again, extra tall ceiling means taller, bigger cabinets, especially here in the kitchen proper. You can really see that. And we've also added the optional skylight in over here to, to let in some extra natural light in there. Now next to the uh, eight cubic foot fridge freezer, which I wanna mention that's an eight, not a six, because that means it's 33% larger than a traditional travel trailer's refrigerator, you have a matching height uh, pantry. So you've got 
excellent cabinet space going on here above and beyond just the overhead cabinet space you've also got a dedicated vertical space here now one of the benefits of having a wood skeleton travel trailer is that it is vastly easier to have easy reach power outlets and you can see them located on both sides of that kitchen window and there's an additional one down here below the countertop and let's take a moment to just appreciate the size and square footage of countertop prep space you have here and again this is kind of the debate between rear living versus rear kitchen. I generally prefer the layouts of a rear kitchen when you get to your destination because they give you more cabinet space, more prep space without really losing any living area as we will see soon enough. But they're a little less travel friendly. So that's where the debate kind of comes into play. Now, from the counter to the floors. This Jayco's got some drawers. It also has accent lighting underneath the countertops edging so especially if you want to get in here at night or if you just want to look and feel a little bit brighter you got all kinds of space and those are big drawers plywood boxed and back here full storage below the oven and under the sink including a nice big vertical open space there begging you to throw a wastebasket in now you're also going to see some nicer hardware in your j flights as you go through like these are all pressed membrane countertops so that they've got a nice sealed edge where water cannot, uh, you know, soak through and penetrate there, which is really important around a high frequency water source like your big sink here. Now you have uh, a recessed sink thanks to that upgraded countertop, and I like how they recess the cover as well as give you this neat little aluminum drying rack like you'd find in an Eagle or a North Point or something like that. Plus, you can hear better hardware, you know, when you do the wedding ring tap test. Now, back to the rear living room versus rear kitchen debate. There's no wrong answer. It's just a matter of which one you prefer. A rear living room will tend to give you two chairs, often some form of recliner, as we see here with those free-floating, easily turnable pushback recliners, and an oversized picture window, which you see here also in this rear kitchen. The difference is, with this rear kitchen, this mega picture window is overlooking your campsite. It's looking out under your awning. It's not looking at the neighbor's campsite, although right now all we're looking at is a whole other slew of trailers also available here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. They've got the same full pleated night sheets there that you saw in the rest of the windows, but again, you, you can also turn this thing so you do have easy viewing of your entertainment center. Now, um, right above that, you see our centralized air conditioner. We will typically outfit our J-Flights here at Haywood RV with a larger 15,000 BTU air conditioner to give you that extra cooling power. That, in conjunction with the thermal package we'll discuss outside, gives them a, a pretty hefty one-two punch. If you're going to go hot uh, climate camping with a single 15 Air, this will not have a problem. Now, should you choose to add a, a big TV to your J-Flight, you've got uh, the perfect little blank canvas to do so. And below that, you've got a Bluetooth DVD player with HDMI input so you can expand your entertainment. You also have a little clutter-cutting shoe garage right below that to keep that nice and, uh, you know, tidy and simple. I do like that extra accent lighting under the sofa right there. And where that's really handy, especially in conjunction with the accent lighting under the countertop, is it gives you a neat little sort of like air traffic controller lighting grid so that you can see where you're going at night. Also very handy if you do have some guests crashing out on the side of bed. And what's handy here is that full trifold is far more adult friendly than just a simple bifold. And considering we've swapped the traditional booth dinette out for a freestanding table and chairs to give you that greater individual seating comfort, I think that you'll appreciate still having that excellent guest sleeping capacity here. Like I said, it doesn't have to just be grandkids. You can fit adults on there as well. Now we've got a very aggressive LED lighting package in here, made more obvious by the fact that I actually have a decent power box hooked up to it. Just handy little coat hooks by the door. Now, the bathroom obviously right next to the entry door, very quick and easy to get to, and there's no carpeting between them. So, if you are at your destination, you just need to zip in and out to get to the bathroom real quick, you are not going to track dirt through your RV. You'll also notice the uh, Elite Package upgrades us to the porcelain foot flush stool that we have here, so you have a little nicer sort of seating area. Now, in the bathroom here, you, this is not a small countertop. Actually, it's just a really big sink. That's one of the reasons I like to do these videos, because I can get up here and I can actually put my hand in this thing to show you some scope and some scale on it. And, oop, bump in the wall there. Hopefully I didn't jostle the camera around too much. We do have a uh, full mirrored cabinet up here, so you do have uh, you know plenty of space there. Above the bathroom, or pardon me, shower, in the bathroom, we have that single blue nightlight. 
and during the day it doesn't do much, but at night it will make all of the white surfaces, the light colored surfaces in this room glow nicely. So if you do need to get in here, you need to get to the bathroom, you can do so without, you know, trying to feel your way through this thing, <laughs> like, I don't know, Helen Keller perhaps, that would, that would just, it, it's a good way to wake everybody up and not the thing that you're looking for. Now, notice that vent's location. When you open the shower doors, you're going to step over here. It's in a no traffic sort of foot zone right in front of this six foot nine linen cabinet. And having the ability to put all of the towels and everything like this in this bathroom is so, so handy. Neat little factoid too also. Jayco spends a little bit more money on each of their air ducts. You can turn them and close them for a lot of individual comfort. And of course, we do have a sliding privacy door for the uh, bathroom entry door here. Now, up here in the bedroom, you can see that we do have TV hookups here. Uh, and that's actually an easy remove uh, side mount. Uh, what do I want to say? TV mount. That TV mount. Because it can mount on the side of the camera. Woo! Wow, smoke coming out of my ears on that one. Obviously, I don't script my material and I don't edit my videos. I just roll. But the fact is, if you want to add a TV here, you can also float it outside simply and easily. Now, they don't drop down to cheaper metal blinds here in the bedrooms of these J-Flights. Uh, there are a lot of brands that will do that. They'll give you pleated shades in the living room to get your attention. And then once you stop looking, they'll go down to a cheaper shade. That's not the case here. We also have a full overhead cabinet. Not a less expensive shelf. And... A uh, taller ceiling means you have more headroom above that bed, so if you do sit up at night, you're going to be good without bashing your head in. You also have a longer 80-inch residential queen bed here. This is not a short camp queen. That's one of the reasons why, like, if you're looking for a shorter uh, rear kitchen, you can save a few inches on something like a 274 RK Cherokee that we have here at Halet RV. Very cool camper in its own right. Does a lot of awesome, awesome things as well. But this one has, it's longer. Part of the reason is it has that uh, bigger queen bed there. Now, a couple of cool things. Your side stands are very CPAP friendly, very wide open, very nice if you're like claustrophobic. You don't want to feel like you're sleeping in a coffin. Some campers, these side closets go all the way down and it's kind of a visual break and it gives some people a heart attack. Hopefully not literally, hopefully just metaphorically. Well, this leaves it nice and open. Now, all of our windows, all those nightshades, one of the cool things is Jayco is fully framing out every one of these windows. And when they started doing that, we basically stopped ever having uh, pleated shade problems in a J-Flight. Now, that was a low occurrence item, and it was easy fix. You just restring the shades. But now we don't have to because they have something a little bit better and stronger to bite into. Now, below the bed, first of all, did you notice it was easy lift? I am... Not a strong person, I am not left-handed, and that popped right up pretty much on its own with just a couple, little, little bit of uh, uh, you know, assistance from the left hand, so she's easy to get to. Plywood decking under there as well. We're, you know, there's that word again, plywood, not OSB, with wide open storage here. Now, if you wanted to partition this off so you had separate pass-through versus inside storage, you could, but the fact is they give you that choice. It's not done for you. If you want to, that's easy. If you do like it open like this, Jayco gives you that option. Some brands don't. Now, right away when you look at one of those things up there in that bedroom window, you see that beautiful blue too. That's there because these have twice the warranty of nearly anyone else in this class. And there's a lot of reasons for it. Um, it's, it's a couple big things, it's a couple small things, but the fact is, if what you're looking for is greater confidence, peace of mind, and assurance, Jayco offers that here, and they offer it in all their products. That's what's pretty impressive. Now, part of the reason they're able to do that is because they custom engineer every chassis that uh, they use. So, um, you know, if you notice, this does not have a tacked on, welded on A-frame. It's fully integrated. Now, they're not the only ones to do this, but it tends to be the brands that do have some pretty reliable service records, and that's, you know, that is the case here. So you see how that A-frame actually melds into the chassis body. That stands in stark contrast to something like this over here where the A-frame actually goes under the body of the RV. Here's the thing. Um, this is not any stronger. Neither construction method on that chassis is stronger than the other. It's the benefits that it brings to the table. The uh, different chassis that this J-Flight's riding on actually is the reason why it is taller inside without being taller outside. That's kind of one of those mind-bender things. You're like, well, how can that be? This actually has a little bit lower floor, not a taller ceiling. But when I explain that inside the RV, it's a little trickier to wrap your head around. It makes more sense out here. So that's kind of a cascade effect that leads into a lot of different things like the taller interior, the, the shower, etc. 
Now you also find, of course, power awning, power tongue jack, but what you're not seeing is that they're using a little bit higher grade motor on their fixtures so that they move a little faster, last a little longer, act a little stronger. You also have larger 30 pound propane tanks on here for 50% greater propane capacity versus most things uh, in this uh, category. Usually 20 pound tanks standard. Nothing wrong with 20 pound tanks. 30s obviously just bigger and give you more time between refills. Now they protect that uh, up front here with an extended diamond plate which is pretty darn cool as well. And I don't know if you noticed but on the other side of that tongue is a simple little uh, solar prep port. Um, the uh, outside utility shower black tank flush here located right next to your uh, sewer dump station, which makes a lot of sense. Now, I mentioned inside we would circle back and talk about the thermal package. J-Flight has the best uh, thermal package of its kind in this class and category. Problem is, you can't see any of that. All you can see is the same thing everybody else is doing. You see an enclosed belly. What you can't see is that it is forced air heated, some brands do that, some don't. What you also can't see is that there are uh, layers of insulation in the underbelly. Most brands don't do that. We already talked about the insulated slide floor. They add extra insulation into the roof and wrap it around the nose. Very similar to something like an Eagle fifth wheel. Well, they also have UV tinted windows. Now, that does help with privacy. That will certainly stop your furniture from fading at the rate that a non-tinted window will because you're blocking that UV light. But at the same time, you're also blocking a lot of heat from the sun. So you're keeping heat out. You've got extra insulation. Uh, now, even if you're just planning to hot camp, you're not planning to cold camp. Well, the extra insulation in the belly is helping keep the air conditioner from bleeding out of the floor through the belly of the camper. So that extra layering there, it helps you no matter what season it is. Now, all that being said, I've used the words hot camp, cold camp, thermal. This product is not zero degree tested and proven. It might be able to achieve that rating, but they have never provided me with tested proven data. I am not here to try to tell you half the truth and then walk away like a snake oil salesman who tries to tell you that their camper has a 10 or 12 year roof warranty, which it doesn't have. I would re I'm trying to give you facts and there are information here, uh, you know, factoids you need to know but I'm also not trying to mislead you. So hopefully you appreciate the fact that we've taken the time to clarify that. Now, back here, here's an ex industry exclusive feature originally found on Eagle RVs that has since made its way through the rest of the entire Jayco family. And that is the J Smart Lighting Package. Do you notice how there's a whole bunch of extra like marker and clearance lights up top in the rear wall and whatnot? Well, just like a semi tractor trailer, if you flip on that left uh, turn blinker, not just your left brake light will flash, but Pretty much any light on the left side of the RV will flash with it so that other drivers know what you're doing. A little bit safer, obviously. Now, you're thinking, why don't other campers do that? And the answer is because it costs a little money. You have to wire in some extra control factors to do that. J Flights are not the least expensive stick and tin travel trailer out there. They are, however, the most highly appointed and the single most successful as being the number one seller since 2005 and counting. Now, in addition to that, not just having cool turn lights, but SMART stands for signals, markers, we've already seen those, and reverse travel. And that's what we're looking at here. When you shift into reverse, these have some seriously bright white LED lights back here to help you see where you're going. Very handy if you have a spotter at your campsite or if you are going to utilize a uh, backup camera. Now, an optional piece of equipment we tend to add to most of our J-Flights is the 2-inch receiver hitch on the back here. So that if you are interested in doing things like adding a bike rack to your camper, you can do so without voiding your warranty, which is something that a lot of brands don't seem to think about or offer you. Uh, the ladder is also an optional piece of equipment we tend to add to these so you can get up to that fully walkable roof. And we will see that in just a few minutes here uh, when we do take a walk up there because there are some things I want to share there as well. Now another factor that works in the park friendliness of the J Flight 29 RKS here at Halid RV is one, the fact that you have no slides on the campsite over here. Uh, there's a lot of people that really, really appreciate a dual slide living room. And I get it, it looks and it feels big. But as we discussed inside, sure didn't look or feel small in there. Actually, it was quite spacious and quite comfortable. Now what you have is maximum patio space because you don't have any slide outs eating up your uh, like awning area or patio like table chair area. Now everything's wide open and available to you over here. We do have outside TV hookups next to that giant picture window. And that's another thing. Remember, I talked about this inside. 
You've got the same basic windows going on here as a rear living room, but they're overlooking your campsite. They're not looking at the neighbors. And didn't you go camping to look at your campsite, not the neighbors? Uh, the awning here has a couple neat factors going on. It does have a easy tilt uh, factor going on here where you do have these little adjustable knobs. And you also have an auto rain dump, which is what that gas strut's doing with full length LED lighting below. But you have your speakers here built right into the awning arms. Now when the awning's open, it will project that sound downward toward your chairs or picnic tables so you're not blowing the neighbor away. Uh, because we all know you go camping to listen to Slayer cranked up to 11! But at the same time, when the awning is closed, the speakers are going to be down here. And they're right at, you know, roughly head level. Where once again, you don't have to have it cranked up to 11! So, <laughs> I've got people looking at me right now going, what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Alright, here's the best in class feature. Goodyear radial tires rated for 87 miles per hour at 80 PSI. So you don't have to go to some specialty tire shop just to put tire pressure in your tires. And um, American sourced. I think that's something we can all get behind there. And those aluminum wheels, well, they just look pretty darn good. You also have uh, Dexter axles. Uh, of course, easy lube hubs. That's one of those dime a dozen things like pretty much everybody has it. Now, I often forget to talk about this and I don't know how well it's showing up on camera. You can see a little bit of that amber glow on the steps in that line right there. There is a little entry step light mounted underneath here so that if you are uh, getting in or out at night, you can kind of see where you're going so you're not stumbling through the dark. Maybe you've had one too many barley pops. I don't think my buddy Jody, and he's already grinning. He doesn't know what we're talking about, do we, Jody? No. Wider 30-inch entry door for easier coming and going. Um, and we also have a very large baggage compartment here. Now, the door is about 30 inches wide. I think in point of fact, I measured it once. I think it was 29 and a half, but we're going to call it 30 inches wide. It's also extra tall, so you can get big stuff in there. And to give you a sense of scope and scale, that's the box that the microwave comes in, and it looks small inside here because this is a big pass-through. And you have equally sized large uh, doors on both sides, and of course, we have uh, full storage under that bed like we saw earlier. Now, a neat little construction detail. Jayco top seals all of their exterior components, and they do that all over the place, not just on J-Flight, they do it all over. And it's the little detail stuff like that that helps them have double the warranty of pretty much anybody else in this class and category right here. And maybe, just maybe, a few of those little difference factors right there help tie into the fact that this is and has been the number one selling series of RVs since 2005 and counting. Quite the accomplishment. Now I'm up here on the roof, not to talk about the things you can see. Like, it's, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to go, holy crap, they're really heavy handed with the ceilings on those J-Flights, that's good, I won't have a leak. But, it's the stuff you can't see that I want to talk about. How about the fact that we're walking on plywood roof decking right now, instead of OSB, as is commonly found across almost any other trailer in this class. I'm doing this for a living. This is my full-time profession is to learn how RVs are built and appointed and etc. I'm not aware of any other travel trailer remotely close to this class and category that has uh, plywood roof and floor decking. So there's a best in class feature. Also best in class feature is the weight rating of this roof, about 4,800 pounds. The next closest thing tends to be about 2,800. And don't get me wrong, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. But this is way over the top, and it's because of that plywood roof decking. It has a greater weight capacity across spans, and their thicker, heavier magnum truss roof system. Um, basically, guys, this has the most heavy-duty roof construction of pretty much any travel trailer with a wood skeleton, or matching that of any travel trailer with a laminated skeleton, frankly exceeding, because the only other trailers that have the same kind of roof rating say Jayco on the side, just like this. So, uh, pretty pretty impressive how this has uh, effectively the same roof structure as something like a giant Jayco Pinnacle. The trusses are just shaped a little differently, but they have the same effective weight rating. Now, um, the uh, sidewalls. We have 16 inch on center uh, sidewall studs uh, with hand tucked glued insulation so that the glue, or pardon me, the insulation can't like shift down during transit. It's glued and hand tucked in place so there's no thermal gaps. Now, above the slide out over here, um, and this is the boring part of the tour, I get it, that's why I save it for the end. But above the slide out, if this wall wasn't really strong above the slide, then it would start to buckle and bend and bow over time and that would cause a leak. So Jayco uses a 
eight inch micro laminated header beam that actually extends like 14 inches past the slide out wall. The reason they do that is to add the extra structure there where you need it. Um, brand new, they could have built it with a two by six and it would have held up, it'd have been okay brand new. This isn't built for two years of ownership. This is built for 10 plus years of ownership. That's what they're doing here. Those are the differences, like the tongue and groove plywood floor decking. It's those kind of things that allow Jayco to offer twice the warranty as, again, anybody else out here. Because there is no such thing as the three year RV warranty. You have one and two year RV warranties and Jayco's pretty much exclusive in that two year segment. So whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package, deals, RV delivery and everything in between. Remember that we only do everything except for hidden dealer fees at Haylet RV. We'll leave that to the uh, big box store. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Eleven!